So I'm going to take you quickly through these slides, but I would like you to take time on your own to go through them as well. Look at the information and look at the images and compare and contrast the two images on each slide. And then at the end of going through the slides, there is also an exit ticket for you to fill out through a Google form. So make sure you do that as well. And this week we are continuing to understand art worlds. So as an artist, I can learn about art history and learn to interact as an artist with other artists, meaning that we can collaborate, work together, and get inspiration from other artists and use that within our own art. This week, we're going to talk about Edward L. Baxter. He is a Raleigh native and has produced oil paintings covering a wide variety of subject matter, such as landscapes, still lifes, portraits, jazz themes, abstracts, religious and African works. In his early development as an artist, he was inspired by other artists such as Romare Bearden, Jacob Lawrence, John Biggers, and Picasso. These days, artists such as Thornton Dial, Purvis Young, and Kehendi Wiley continue to provide a spirit of creation that has enabled Edward to produce paintings for over 50 years. So now we're going to take a look at some of his artwork and compare it and contrast it with some of the artwork of the artists he has been inspired by. So if you look on the right, you can see Baxter's work. And if you look on the left, you can see Kehinde Wiley's. And just look at, you know, the, the colors, the movement, the lines, the shapes. And see, you can see where inspiration has come from. Again, you can see Baxter's work on the right and the work of Romare Bearden on the left. And you can see that collage influence that has come from Romare Bearden's work. And last, you can just kind of look at this one, um, again, with Baxter on the right and Picasso on the left. And just look at the colors, the lines, the shapes, the movement. And you can see where that influence comes from Picasso and is seen in Baxter's work. So now it's your turn to be an artist. You can create some art. Here's a choice board for some ideas. You could create art that uses images or symbols um, of North Carolina. So think about things that represent North Carolina and how you could use that in your artwork. You can create art that expresses ideas and themes of current events. Think about the time and place that you're living in now. You know, what, what is going on around you? What is happening? Or you could create artwork that is inspired by another artist that you admire. Think about a favorite artist you have or a favorite painting you have, know of or drawing. And just remember, you're not, we're not copying that. We're not recreating that exact same drawing or painting, but we're going to look at those, te those techniques and styles and try to use those within our own artwork. All right? So just remember to do that exit ticket as well in the Google form, and we will talk to you soon. Have a good weekend. Go be artists.